Okay. Oh, very good. Okay. Tell me my. Oh, come on. It's not that bad. I get it forever, teach you. <laughs> just whip a hot dog out of your bag. Hey, I... Pizza, hot dogs, yeah. steak, Mountain Dew. Oh, the life of a bachelor. <laughs> All right. Anyways, speaking of hot dogs, what is my pathology of stomatitis? Um, it's just like stress. Can he soar? Like can sore. Oh yeah, can he soar? Yeah. What are my causes? Stress. Okay. And then... You're For what type of stomatitis? Primary. 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 Yeah. And then secondary is... Um, like... Immunosuppressants. Okay. Is that the word? Yeah, it can be like... Immunosuppressants or sometimes like... Albuterol. I found this out the other day. Albuterol. If, or not albuterol, but like... Patients who take like asthma and inhalers every day, that can cause stomatitis also if they don't rinse their mouth out in between. So, huh. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah. That is good to know. <laughs> You'll learn a lot about that second semester, but I mean, you do learn about it right now too, so. You may as well tie it together. Yeah. So what are my signs and symptoms of primary and secondary stomatitis? Well, actually, let's start off with just primary. What are we going to see with this? Um, the canker sores or cold sores? Yeah. Canker, cold sores. Um, what else? Not kinky. Kinky, <laughs> <laughs> kinky sores. <laughs> um, traumatic ulcers. Wait, what are you? Well, that would be more like. I was thinking more along the lines of pain. Oh, oh, like oh. okay. Yeah, pain and maybe a little bleeding. Yeah. You could have anorexia because you don't want to eat because it just hurts. Mm -hmm. Anorexia. All right, what about secondary? What am I going to say with specific to secondary? White patches. Mm -hmm. Good. Then scrape off. Good. The white patches do scrape off? I didn't yes. Know they do. Ugh, it just grosses me out. What doesn't scrape off? Does anybody know? Oh, the leukoplakia. Yeah. Good, the leukoplakia. Mm -hmm. Leukoplakia and... Um, uh, secondary yeah. stomatitis, the way that we figure out the difference is scraping it. And mm -hmm. secondary stomatitis does come off, and not the leukoplakia doesn't come off. Yucky. Oh, because of the thrush, okay. Well, yeah. it's so yucky. That's true. Okay, um, so how, what, why can't I think? What are we going to do? So meds. What are my, my two main meds? Mycostatin and my... I don't know how to say it. It's probably myostatin, but... Mycostatin. I think you're it's right. mycostatin. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Yes. So mycostatin or nystatin, uh -huh. also called swish and swallow. Yep. And then for the primary, it says zovirax. Yep. Is that an antiviral kind of thing? Or yes. Is, okay, it is. So yep. And it's specific That's to cold the cold source. Mm -hmm. Oh, a cyclovir. Cyclovir, or also called Zovirax. Okay, phew. I thought there was a med I didn't get. Oh boy. Oh, you didn't know? I'm yeah, scared. I don't, right? Alrighty. That's kind of the main with stomatitis. What are we gonna, how about some nursing interventions? So what are we gonna do as the nurse to either like teach them what to do or what not to do with stomatitis? Soft bristle toothbrush. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, toothbrush. We'll start off with uh, bi sodium bicarb or normal, more or normal saline. Okay, so something warm. Like spicy food or like Hard. probably like chips yeah. and stuff like that would be good. Like irritating foods. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Good. We can also teach them um, like not to scrub too hard with their toothbrush or not to use um, what's it called? Based. Yeah. Um, mouth or mouthwash. Or mouthwash. Because if that can like if they do it too much. They can get, they can wipe out all the normal flora in their mouth just by doing that. Mm -hmm. So, especially if they're already on immunosuppressants, just toothbrush too hard is gonna wipe everything out. Mm 
Um, with these patients, we want to make sure that we're doing oral care a lot. So it says every like two to three hours with patients like this. You just it's just like a little mouth swab of stuff that you can put in, but it's just stuff they'll learn at the hospital. I think I chose the wrong time to eat my lunch. I'm looking at these pictures. <laughs> Now. I know, right? Wait, what? You know, I my brothers do that all the time, and so I have to do it. Okay. It, no, there's <laughs> no. Uh, did you serve in Brazil? Huh? Mm -mm. Did they but serve in Brazil? Uh, El Salvador. Pretty uh -huh. much the same thing. Pretty <laughs> much. I do it too. I'll admit it, but not <laughs> when I get excited. Funny. It's just it cracks me up. Just when I get bored. You know what? I don't think it's all Latin America that does that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they... But anyway, sorry. So we've got primary and secondary stomatitis, what are some other uh, lesions or gross that we can get in the mouth? Um, tumors. Jinx. <laughs> Good. Tumors? Lithoenerythropathia. Good. Mm -hmm. What's the difference? Uh, one's white, one's red. Yeah. Perfect. Should I actually get that one right? <laughs> well, that's a test question. Which one is more likely to become malignant? Or a erythroplakia. Yeah. Perfect. Um, let me see. Don't, let's see. Okay, so if they end up getting oral cancer from one of these stomatitis or whatever, too much irritation in the mouth, what can we do? Like, what are some procedures that we can do? Whatever's there. Mm -hmm. So we can do like a glossectomy, so or like a partial or full removal of the tongue. We could That'd do so mm -hmm. a man yeah, the mandible. Or a partially of the mandible. Job. There's also something called the commando procedure and it takes out like their throat, part of the mandible and part of the maxilla. It what? just is like what? a huge What kidding? Um, they they, uh, they yeah. do like they, they, shove they put others. like fake stuff in back in mm -hmm. so they can re reconstruct all of that. But it just like, huh. if you look at the scars, they're nasty. Yeah, it's not fun. So, okay, what if we have a oh, patient who yeah. has had one of these procedures or something just as simple as an endoscopy? When they come to us, what is it important for us to do before we give them any foods or fluids? Check. Okay, gag reflex. That's the big thing. We don't want to give them fruit or fluids and have them aspirate on us and then die. <laughs> that would be bad. That'd be, yeah, an adventure. 